Mike Randolph, the 28 year old out of Chino Hills, California. Ati, open frame and polishing it off for the Scorpions, Elizondo. And the Costa Rican, the newest addition to the Scorpions, buries that one in the back of the net right there. Ati able to make the initial save, unable to come up with it cleanly. And all Elizondo had to do was basically walk that one in. We take a look at the replay right here. Zahorski on the left boot, fires it. Ati able to come up with the save and off the chest, and then eventually the right boot of Elizondo for the first goal of the match. Cesar Elizondo, just enough patience after plenty of hustle. That ball started to climb up his body, realized he had time to collect himself and put this in for the lead. So a 1-0 lead for the Scorpions. Scorpions have now scored a goal in 10 consecutive matches. Not really a weak link that you can identify. Castillo leads Forbes. Yeah, good work right there from Castillo. Little touch to Forbes, and Forbes in return does the smart thing, slows it down, saw he didn't have numbers. Castillo looking for Elizondo Ati, a gamble. He collides, and a foul is called. And a penalty kick given right there. Ati comes out in no man's land, didn't know what he wanted to do, could not make up his mind, and the indecision is going to cost him a penalty. PK coming for the Scorpions up 1-0 as we look at the replay. Ati committed out on this ball, and there is the foul, sending Elizondo to the pitch, and at the moment, Castillo to the point. Again, the indecisiveness of Ati right there. When you make that decision as a goalkeeper, you have to be off your line instantaneously and make that ball yours. Ati... Wasn't sure what he wanted to do. Gave a half-hearted punch with the right fist to it. And the result, Cast penalty kick coming. Castillo will concede the spot here. As this will be Walter Restrepo. Eric Ati needs to put some of that speed and athleticism to use. Well, his opposite number, Saunders, had a blocked penalty kick last week in Ottawa. We'll see if Ati can do the same here. Restrepo looking for his second goal as a Scorpion. Scorpions fans on their feet. San Antonio is up by a pair. And a clinical penalty taken right there by Walter Restrepo. Low and hard to the far post. Ati guessed correct. He went low to the far post. But just too well placed. And the result, a goal and a 2-0 lead for the Scorpions as we take a look at the replay. Just under Ati could not make a fingertip stop. And that will prompt a change from both sides, including a change in the midfield for San Antonio. Josue Soto will enter. Now that first goal from Atlanta, a little less daunting to think about. Julius James will collect this. Chavez behind him. Yeah, a little more breathing room for the Scorpions with the 2-0 lead. And there it is. And that's the difference the PK makes. And just as I say, a little more breathing room for the Scorpions. It is back to a one goal lead. Beautiful strike from outside the box. That one just put across frame. Saunders unable to do anything there. And we take a look at the replay here. You see the end of it. Saunders unable to do anything. A big shot from the outside. You see the curve on that one. Barely inside the far post. Beautiful strike. Smith now does join us. Coach, we mentioned this is all part of a three-game road trip. What has to happen between now and next week's matchup against Carolina? Uh, I mean, there, there was, again, we had flashes today where I thought we played well. We, we you know, we put ourselves... Uh, in a tough spot early on in the second half and then even tougher with a PK. But uh, I thought we made some adjustments during halftime that, that, that reflected positively on our performance. So we're just going to have to build on that and uh, hopefully not be so hard on each other maybe the next uh, next outing. Four points here at home as Toyota Field has been very kind to the Scorpions. And, well, we saw making his debut a couple weeks ago here at Toyota Field. And Cesar Elizondo, he was so close to finding that first goal. Finally got it tonight, and he has been able to plug in immediately with this team. He bragged on you, and the coach is a big reason why this team's chemistry has uh, been so easy to forge. Yeah, I mean, Elizondo's been a great addition. Uh, when that opportunity you know, presented itself, we knew we had to jump on it. Uh, since arriving, he's been a class act. Great pro both on and on the field. Works extremely hard and fits perfectly into our system and style of play.